Hey everyone, it's Lori from the Nerdy Bookmaker, and um, I'm here with another album. And um, it's actually a folio, and it's uh, decorated with graphic, or not graphic 45, stamp periods, um, calligraphy. Um, and when I made this album, I used two 12 by 12 pads of the calligraphy paper and one 8 by 8 pad of the same paper. Um, it's quite big, quite heavy, and um, there's a lot in here, uh, and it opens up quite broadly, and, and being that I have a limited scope, you're going to see a lot of this <laughs> going back and forth. So, uh, to get started, uh, this is the front cover. I didn't do anything really fantastical on the front cover this time because of the, the plate for the, uh, closure. So that's, that's, that's what you get. That's it. Um, all the good stuff's inside, so don't worry, there's more. Um, the album measures seven and a half across by eight and a half inch tall and two and a half inches deep. And there are three sections, two large sections and one very min minor section, which is on the inside of this cover piece, uh, because we didn't want to create too much depth in there for it to close. Um, the paper goes all the way around. We have on the spine, we have the alphabet, the cut aparts. And then on the back, same thing, just a smaller scale. And then on the other spine, the same thing with the blending of the, the latch. Okay. And it's held in with magnets. So there's, there's like four magnets in here. So it's, it's, it's pretty strong. All right. So I'm going to open it up. And I, like I said, I apologize if I go in or out of screen. Our, my scope becomes very tiny. <laughs> it's just that I've only got, I can't move my phone around. Um, it's kind of attached to a mechanism above my desk. All right, so here we go. And I can't zoom down or anything like that either. So, um, okay, so we'll start with the inside cover. And it's four pockets. And they end at the bottom, like this one here ends like in here somewhere. So it's, they're not deep. They don't go all the way to the bottom of the the uh the system it's so you don't lose anything in behind there so um but inside these pockets are four cut aparts from the eight by eight collection so and there you go this, this one and they can journal on the back and they all fit perfectly in here i mean you can put other things in here as well um it's just that that's a good place for them. <laughs> I need it especially for those, so. All right, and then here we have a journal. Um, and the pages are held in by the string, so you can pull them out and replace them. I, as an afterthought, um, I'm going to, I think, take these out and tea stain them and then put them back in so that they go with the overall appearance of the, uh, uh, the folio because it has this vintage flair to it, so... Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that before I let it go. And that just tucks right back in there. On this side, this is the ins outside of the inside flap. And there's just a photo mat in the tuck spot here. And that's, um, one that's in the, that's on the back, in the cut parts, in the back of the stamp period 12 by 12. All right, so I'll open this up. Okay, so um, I'll, th I'll start with the middle section. Um, and it has um, belly band, but going uh, vertically instead of horizontally across the page. So we open it up like this. And um, on this page here, I have um, a, a piece of acetate where you can put photos or memorabilia or whatever in here so um just a nice little hidey like a safe place i suppose you can put things in i'm going to open this up and on this side this is the um the other flap on this side um we have it's just a pocket with a couple of one with the cut apart from the 12 by 12 and then the a photo mat kind of thing journal on it if you want we'll open this up now we have three sections here, and I don't know if you can see all three. There you go. I have to kind of bend down, look up. Um, 
So uh, I'm going to start here. I'm going to move across. So on this side, we have two uh, miniature photo uh, flaps here that are held in with um, magnets. So you have this goes up like so, and then this one goes down like this. We'll start with the top one, and it folds down like this. You put a photo in here and here, and this has acetate, so you can pop a picture in behind there. And then you pull a picture here, and journal, or put a picture in here. And the same with the, with the bottom one, you can open it up this way, and you have an area for photo here as well with acetate. Fold it down, you put a photo here, and this one opens this way. And you can journal in here as well. And then on the back, inside here, you have a sheet of acetate with a tab on the bottom. So you can open it up and pop your pictures in. Um, and that does it for that side. And close it back up. These are pretty cool because you can just open them up. Whoops, sorry. You can open them up and just like so. I'll go this way so you can have quite the spread going across here. And same with this one here. So it's, uh, they're handy. Save space, get more in it. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna open this up here. And go inside here, and we have another little um, folio here for whatever you choose. Now you could, you could um, do what I did with the notebook and add papers in here and just use the string to uh, hold them in or put photos in here. It's entirely up to you. Here we have a journal stick. And this is magnetic, so whatever you put under here is going to stay. So we have a journal stick. You can add, put photos on here. Oh, I just got to erase some stuff. Um, photos on here or journal. <laughs> you can write, add photos, what have you. It's up to you. And then in the center we have a, a pocket with... Uh, more cut aparts um, in here with a photo mat and the same up here and these pockets same thing they only go so far down <clears throat> there we go. close the outside Okay, and now in the center we have, it's a photo frame, so you can tuck a picture in here, or what have you in here, something you want to um, show off, or see every time you open your album, um, so you tuck a picture in there. It holds anywhere from about a four and a quarter and up width-wise, and seven and seven and a half length-wise. So four by seven, four by seven, five by seven kind of thing. So, okay. Now on the back, this is the back panel of the album. It's where the um, smaller version of the uh, alphabet is on the, on the back. So we have a couple of tags in here from the cut apart. Let's see, am I losing here okay and these pockets in here for these tags are quite big so you can put other things in here as well so you have lots of room in here and then in the back is another photo mat sorry for the going in and out of frame here and then another larger photo mat and this has tuck spots so you can tuck underneath like so. Okay. And you can put photos on the back. Pop that back in there. Along with this. Now we'll move to the other side of this, this section and we have another, we'll open it up with a magnet here. You can place a photo here if you want. And here as well. And this one opens up down this way and it has acetate on each panel so you can pop a picture in there and then in the center another cut apart and then we have the envelope 
from the cut aparts as well. that back up all right so that's done open that oh and then this side here I forgot about this so we have smaller um, just a smaller little waterfall here it's held down with the metal with the magnet as well you open it up and it has um, acetate on the top where it's black um, where you can pop a picture in I didn't put any on the bottom figured if you wanted to write with a white pen or whatever then you would have that um, available for you and here or you could put pictures on it it's entirely up to you so you have a spot here 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 and here and then in here we have another folio with um, cut apart and again you can add papers or what have you to this just by using a string if you want to turn them into booklets so that's that side. Now we'll move on to the last part. Um, and again, we have acetate here as well. And it's held, um, you can open it by just lifting the little pen on the end. It's kind of like it blends in with the rest of the pens, but just a little darker. So you can open it up and pop pictures in there if you wanted. And then we'll open this up this way. And on the inside of the first flap, we have um, a journaling stick with another cut apart in here. Okay, then we'll open this up. And I don't know if you can see that now on both sides are the same. So we have um, four pockets here with the with tags and 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 uh, cut aparts and the same on this side with the tag and cut aparts and then just little momentums on the bottom then we open it up and it's the same still we have this one here that has the whoops whoops there goes my glue so we have this one here on this side and then we have this one here on this side okay and you can see on this one it has um it has a little tag down here but a this is cut here, so it's like a little miniature pocket with tons of little note cards and stuff inside. And I'll pop in there, and then um, from the cut aparts is that alphabet that I have pretty much a lot of places in this in this book. I love these like this in case you wanted to cut them apart and do something different with them. I didn't um, take them, but I cut them down so they would fit in these long pockets. And then here we have in this pocket we have the other envelope that I mentioned earlier and another cut apart and another one like this but it has a backing on it I left this one intact so you can tell a story and put your photos on the back or a party you had say you had six people you could write down them there or if they gave you gifts you could put their name and the gift they gave you in each one of these spots a um, little handy thing, I thought. It was pretty cute. Um, okay, so moving on to the center. And here we have, um, this is a pocket down here. Then we have, um, this is a miniature photo album up here on the top, or flip folio, flip photo album, small one. <laughs> so you can place a picture on here or a journal if you wish. And on the inside, you have acetate on this one not on this one because again you can add a photo or journal here and you can and there's acetate on this one and this one and this one not on this one or this one these have little tuck pockets in here so you can either use it to store the card or you can take them out and just put a photo on top so it's hardly up to you same on this side then in the center we have another photo mat large photo map another uh, cut apart and then we have another photo mat here so we go one two three four this is held together with a magnet hey 
Now we're going to go over to the other side. Over here, we have um, another pocket here with another cut apart from the 12 by 12. Um, and then again, I did the same thing here with uh, another six of the cut aparts. Um, and just left them together so you can put a photo on the back and put your description in the boxes below and then another cut apart. And then again on this side, um, same thing, another cut apart that you can take apart yourself. Um, and a little embellishment that's cut along the edge of the bottle so you can tuck these little guys in there. You can note on and they just pop right back in there and then that's that's it that's that album oops and then you do it back up take it and fold it over this way this way and lock it up so that's the folio. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I really hope that um, I can fix my camera problem soon um, because I really would like to do the tutorial and I would really not want to have to do it with my camera phone or my phone, camera phone, so 80s. My, um, my camera, my phone. <laughs>